Representative Gelser. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Colleagues, if you have looked online at the Oregonian lately or perhaps visited a restaurant anywhere in the state on Saturday nights, you will have noticed that it's prom season. And how many of you can think back fondly to your prom night, how exciting it was to, to get dressed, to have that special date, to go and celebrate the end of your high school career? And I wanted to tell you about a friend of mine named Adam. He is a senior in a Portland area high school. And like seniors all across the state of Oregon, he woke up on Saturday excited to go to the prom. He had a date, he had a group of friends, he had a really nice suit, he had the flowers. They all gathered and got together, they did the photographs. Come see me, I can show you the pictures. He looked very dapper, as did the rest of his group. And they did their pre-prom activities and then his parents drove the group and dropped them off at the Bossa Nova ballroom where the prom was being held. Parents waved goodbye and he was excited to go in with all of his friends. About 15 minutes later, the cell phone rang and they were asked to come back. Adam was turned away at the door. You see, the Bossa Nova ballroom is up 20 steps, at the top of 20 steps. And Adam uses a power wheelchair. There was no elevator. There was no plan to include all of the seniors at this high school at the prom. One of the school administrators that was there offered that perhaps some of the other senior boys might be willing to carry the 400 pound power wheelchair and Adam up the stairs. This wasn't safe and so what happened was Adam, all dressed up and ready to go, excited to celebrate the end of his senior year with his peers, left. He went home and spent the evening at home while his friends danced at the Bossa Nova Ballroom, a place that he could not enter. Colleagues, accessibility is not something that's a convenience. It is not something that is a kindness. Adam had a basic right to expect that he could attend the same prom as his classmates. He also should have the basic right to expect that he can participate in his graduation in just a couple of weeks, that he can cross the same platform as everyone else. But his mom just received a communication from the school district suggesting that maybe he might like to leave the graduation early so that his wheelchair does not contribute to crowd congestion there. I just wanted to rise today to let Adam know that that is not okay. Adam is an equal member of that senior class and there are students like him all across the state. Accessibility is not a convenience. It is not a, uh, it is not a kindness. It is a basic right. Let's make sure that all of our schools and all of our buildings allow Adam and anyone else with a mobility impairment to be able to participate in the same way as everyone else. And again, to Adam, I say I'm sorry and congratulations on your graduation. Thank you, Madam Speaker.